Storm TV here with Matt Ginn ahead of the playoffs. Matt, last weekend's series concluded the regular season and your team fought through some tough times to finish fourth in the standings. How do you reflect on the season as a whole? Yeah, it was, uh, it, fourth is definitely a big accomplishment for our group. Um, we had we had goals going into the season. We wanted to be competitive, and, and we were, I think, the last few months especially. We, we played some really good hockey. Um, we know we can beat and compete at, with anyone in the league here. Um, so a big accomplishment finishing fourth, and proud of the guys, the hard work that uh, they put in throughout the full year here paid off. Obviously, there were some ups and downs like every team, but I think uh, the character of the group really shone through in those times where they banded together and um, we, were, we were playing our best hockey down the stretch here. So uh, it's definitely rewarding uh, to see that hard work pay off, but um, it's a new season now. Uh, fourth place is nice. It's going to be a tough task here playing Guilford and we're ready to go. What's the feeling in the camp ahead of the playoffs this weekend? Yeah, I think just excitement. It's a long year, a uh, regular season. It's 54 games, Challenge Cup, a lot of, like I said, ups and downs. And I think it's kind of a reset almost. It's people want to play playoff hockey here, and we've put ourselves in a good spot um, through, through the kind of work and commitment. So now it's just committed to being committed to playing the right way and um, first legs at home and we, we want to have a good performance here start the series off on a good foot but guys are confident um, Guilford's a good team there are a lot of speed over there a lot of guys that can can hurt you offensively so we know it's going to be tough but um, we, we're just kind of focused on our game here and playing the right way and um, we're, we're really excited for the weekend. Have you got an update on Lauren Ulett's injury and will he be back in contention for this weekend or not? Uh, it's possible. We'll label it day to day. Um, there's a couple of bumps and bruises through the camp here, so we'll see uh, who's available. But I think our, our depth is, has been really good this year. Guys have stepped in the last uh, last couple months, especially when uh, some injuries had happened, and and we hadn't lost a step. So um, we know whoever is in the lineup will contribute and do a job, and have full uh, confidence in whoever is in. We obviously face the Flames this weekend, and we've had a good. A uh, regular season against them with a record of four wins and two losses. So does that give you any confidence going into this weekend that you guys can get the job done? Yeah, like I said, we know if we play uh, played our standard and play our game, we, we can beat and compete with anyone. And, and that's the message going into this weekend. Um, we, we Just because it's playoffs, we don't want to change how we play. Um, any of our preparation has been the same this week. A lot of energy in the guys in practice today. I thought we had a great skate. Um, looked at some areas of Guilford's game that they're, they're really good at and then maybe that they struggle in a little bit. So um, we're, we're going to be ready to go. Um, it's been a tight series. I think we went 4-2, and two, but there were some overtime games, some shootout games games back and forth and um, they're, they're a good team they went to the Challenge Cup final for a reason um, like I said they got some guys that pretty dangerous offensively so we have to be aware when they're on the ice and um, just just be ready to go um, we first game here at home like I said we want to bring that energy get the fans into it right away um, I think that's part of why we've had success here the last few months especially as the shelter's been rocking it's been loud and uh, we want to give them something to cheer about this weekend. Speaking of, this is the last time you guys play in front of that home crowd this season. Is there anything you'd like to say to the fans ahead of puck drop on Saturday? Just thanks. I mean, it, the support's been awesome this year. We've had back-to-back -back sellouts. The barn's been loud and packed all year. So um, big kudos to them for supporting the guys and the team through the ups and downs. And um, I think they see when it gets loud how, how difficult of a spot it can be for the visiting team to come in. And um, like I said, we just want to put our best foot forward here and have a showing that uh, they can be proud of. And um, it, it's going to be a fun weekend. I've, I've said it. Everyone's excited. And uh, we want to start on the right foot here.